sorry guys, my camera off yet again. So anyways, as I was saying, it kind of makes me wonder what the role is going to be. Now, I actually looked at the plot of the episode. Spoilers. This is major spoilers. If you do not want to know the plot for the episode, uh, episode, and if you are watching this in the morning, I suggest you watch the episode first and then come back to this episode later. The whole point of this episode is to be a little prediction episode. The whole point of this video is to be like a whole little prediction video. So anyways, that... Alright, here's a spoiler right now. Okay. Alright, the main like plot of the episode is that Fluttershy is going to go to the Breezies and help them, but eventually the Breezies take advantage of their kind, uh, of Fluttershy's kind nature, uh, a uh, nature, and really, uh, uh, really ends up, like, you know, using it against her. That's really, really what the main plot is. I don't really have a lot to say about this episode, but for some reason, I have uh, I have this weird nagging feeling that it's going to be like that old episode of SpongeBob with Squidward and SpongeBob, and where Squidward is desperate, uh, uh, and where Squ uh, uh, Squidward is desperate to like get out of the Krusty Krab, and then eventually uh, he claims that he's going to be so much better at life, uh, at life when he leaves the Krusty Krab, but then he like gets all homeless, and SpongeBob has to take care of him, and you know everything is all. Nice, and then eventually Squidward takes advantage of SpongeBob's kindness and treats like SpongeBob like dirt, and all this stuff happens. Like, I have, I have, uh, I personally think that the episode's going to be a lot like that SpongeBob episode. The only difference is that it's going to have Fluttershy and Breezies. Now, here's a two concerns. Number one is Zipsy going to be in it. For any of you, do, uh, for any of you people who don't know, Zipsy was a main character of the Breezies back in G three, and just for you know, I honestly don't give two craps of Tiddlywink or Tralala. Those two ponies don't make it. I honestly don't care about them, but I want, I really want Zipsy to return. Okay, let me describe Zipsy's personality, and then you'll you'll and then you'll see why I want her to return. Zipsy is basically, I would say. Twilight's brain, Fluttershy's personality, and Pinkie Pie's voice. How can you not want that? Pinkie Pie's voice plus Fluttershy's personality plus Twilight's brain is freaking epic. And Zipsy is just so awesome, so I want her to return. If if like if she doesn't return in the special a, a, a special, then I'm going to get pissed. And another thing, if Zipsy does return, then uh, then who will voice her? As we all know, as some people may or may not know, in Generation 3, Zipsy was voiced by um, and Andrea Lieben, a.k.a. the same person who voices Pinkie Pie. But considering the fact that before if Friendship is Magic came out, it would uh, 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 came out, you know, Zipsy's voice was original, being all high and, and uh, funny. But considering the fact that that friendship is magic is now uh, uh, friendship is magic is out now, Andrew Laban took Zipsy's voice and now he uses it for Pinky a uh, Pinkie Pie's voice. And you know, since friendship is magic is out now and Pinkie Pie, it would be extremely weird if there's a pony that sounded exactly like Pinkie Pie. So here's my theory: like number one. Either Andrea Liebian is going to voice Zipsy like she did in G3. The only difference is that she's going to make her, make the voice sound extremely different than the one from G3, or make it somewhat similar but still really different than Pinky's. Or number two, they're going to get a completely different voice act actress to voice Zipsy. Either way, I honestly don't care how it turns out. I just hope that Zipsy comes back because I want Zipsy to come back. Okay, here and here's the next final point. The reception with the fans. Now, as we, as I all know, I want you to know that I love bronies. There's just one thing that I hate about hate about uh, about bronies. I'm not saying that I hate bronies, but there's just one thing that I hate about what they do. You bronies seem to tend to overreact about everything. Yeah, remember how hilarious you find Rarity overreacting about something as simple as like a like a, like losing a ribbon, saying it's the worst possible thing. That's basically you, because whenever like Equestria Girls came out, you guys were like, "Oh my God, Equestria Girls! It's the worst thing ever!" <laughs> like, I, like I know it's a, I, okay. I know that it wasn't that dramatic. But that's pretty much how everybody reacted. 
And then whenever Generation 3, you find out about Generation 3, you're like, oh my god, Generation 3 is the worst thing ever, ah! And I'm basically worried that the Bronies will hate the Breezies, like, the Breezies merely because it's Generation 3. The Bronies have a, lot, have a big problem with Generation 3, and I think the main reason why they have this problem is merely because it's different. The Bronies don't want a, don't want a different version of My Little Pony. The only My Little Pony they uh, they want is Friendship is Magic. All of these other versions seem weird and foreign to them, which is why they don't want them. Now, if you if you like Generation if you don't like Generation Three or the other generations in general, that's fine. But bashing them or saying it's the worst thing ever uh, ever if characters from G Three are br brought back is really uh, is is really you know lame. I mean, you hate it whenever anti bronies complain about friendship is magic. Don't do the same thing to the other gens. You know, stop hating on them. And I'm also worried that the bronies, like, like not really the bronies, but fans in general, uh, general, will complain that the breezies are a, uh, uh, but breezies are a little bit of a bad influence on friendship is magic, merely because, uh, uh, merely because, uh, because they're all girly. And it's going to ruin the show due to their cutesy little fairy wingies and they're colorful and they have like, little antennas and they're cutesy. Well, really, I don't really think how it's going to affect affect Friendship is Magic at all. I haven't seen the new designs for the Breezies and they're not even that girly. Like, <clears throat> I know that nobody ever said this, but I'm just worried that I know for a fact that so, something in the back of my head says that eventually somebody will say this, which is why, uh, why I claim. And if you actually think the Breezies are girly, a uh, girly and will ruin Friendship is Magic, let me tell tell you one thing. Explain to me how a pink pony, a rainbow pegasus, and a purple unicorn is not girly. Yeah, that's what I thought so. So overall, I'm pretty excited for the episode, and I'm really excited to see it, especially since all the episodes, and especially. I'm really excited, and I'm really excited to see the episode of the Breezes for two reasons. I'm excited for the Breezes' return, and mainly because all the episodes with Fluttershy in the season have been great. I love the episodes with Fluttershy. And before I go, here's one more thing that I like to talk about, which I was going to, but then forgot due to the fact that I'm so freaking tired. And that is, and that is the Breezes' design, comparing them in G three and G four. So. That, as I sa said, the Breezes in G3 basically have these little papery wings that are very light, like scotch tape, and these, and they're basically small ponies, papery wings, like, like, stop, like, uh, they're so they're basically like these small ponies, paper, papery wings, light, like scotch tape, and these little cutesy wootsy little antennas, and they're colorful, and they're basically small ponies. Well, here's a Gen 4 version of the, of, um, the breezies. They pretty much have the same wings, although they're less like pixies and are a lot larger, similar to that to butterflies. If I could make the best comparison, I would pretty much do um the Glimmer Wings line of ponies. That's pretty much how big their wings are. Like they're freaking huge. And another thing is that I know that the breezies wear clothes. I mean, I've seen the picture that they wore clothes, and that seemed very weird i don't know it just seemed really weird to me and they pretty much have the same antennas but the thing is that i know is that their legs looked extremely slender i mean the new my little ponies are slender as they are but it, i mean really slender like freaking slender man slender and that kind of bothered me for some weird reason but i think the reason why they're doing it is because they want them to look more unique like a different species rather than, sm than what they looked like in generation three where they are just like uh small ponies but with like like bugs bugs uh added on but i think with the reason why, they're, why they, they make the made their legs look so slender is probably because they want them to look similar to actual insects because as we all know actual insects legs are extremely slender and that's pretty much my opinion and uh, opinion uh, opinion and what I think of, of the episode. It's easy being breezies. It's I think it's going to be a pretty exciting episode, and I can't wait to see it in the morning. And it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. And just for, uh, like I said before, the whole purpose of this video is to like test out my predictions and to see if any of my predictions come out. So. Congratulations, Hasbro. You brought back the Breezies, a popular pony from the old generation. Now all you need to bring back is the sea ponies, the, fl 
So now all you need to bring back are the sea ponies, the flutter ponies, and Minty. Get the work done at Hasbro. Bye. DG4 out.